The story begins in New Orleans, Louisiana. The heroine, Lucy, is a nurse in training at a nursing home. She discovers that the nursing home treats its recently deceased patients with extreme indifference. She finds that the nursing home is treating its recently deceased patients with the utmost indifference. So she decides to leave the nursing home. She'll get paid wherever she goes. And so Lucy traveled alone to the interview site the next day. She was greeted by a large, old, dilapidated mansion. A big, old, dingy, dilapidated mansion that you only see in horror movies. The owners were an old couple. The wife was fixing the old man's head, and just then a man's voice came from behind them. His name is Jack, he was the one who posted the job advertisement. However, when the evening came, she was awakened by a noise. It came from upstairs. It should be Kevin's room. But when she got to Kevin's room, she realized that Kevin was gone. Until she saw a puddle of water under the window, the heroine opened the window and found Kevin crawling hard on the roof. What's even weirder is that the more she called out to Kevin, the more she called out to Kevin, the more he panicked and crawled faster. He eventually fell off the roof. The heroine sneaked into the attic while Annie was downstairs. She wanted to see what was inside. She found a three-headed snake ring and a vinyl record from 1920. So Lucy, full of doubts, rushed back to her apartment and played the vinyl. But it wasn't a song at all. It was a spell that she didn't understand. So after work that day, after work that day, she went straight to her aunt's voodoo store, which her best friend had told her about. The owner told Lucy, as long as you draw a straight line with red brick dust, then the person who wants to hurt you will never be able to get through. So Lucy bought a whole package of witchcraft treatments. What she didn't realize was, while she was practicing her so-called witchcraft, Kevin not only had tears streaming down his face, he even started to speak in a slurred voice. But his speech was really slurred. Sometimes you can't understand what's being said. But it's pretty clear that the person he's afraid of, that the person he was afraid of was his wife, Annie. Annie was responsible for Kevin's stroke. Lucy got some red brick dust. Lucy got some red brick dust and sprinkled it under the carpet to test Annie. If Annie's afraid to come in, she's a bad person. And no matter what Lucy said, Annie wouldn't come in. But Lucy, who had just calmed down, Jack's room was playing some old Negro music. But it was too late. Jack came back and strangled Lucy until she lost her breath. When the heroine woke up again, Annie was still there. And Lucy finally realized she was the one to be sacrificed. Downstairs, Jack also put on a vinyl record, muttered a sacrifice incantation, and took a step towards the attic. Soon everything was forgotten. Annie ripped out the mirror and thrust it at Lucy. The mirror flickered and flashed. Soon as the mirror shattered, everything went back to normal. It turns out that the so-called sacrifice is actually the exchange of souls. The real Lucy was already trapped in Annie's body. And Lucy finally realized, Kevin is the real lawyer Jack.